hello guys welcome to the new video and to, uh, the reason I'm making this video and it's about the privilege escalation so we will do the privilege escalation with the kernel exploits uh, so the reason of uh, making this video is like uh, there are lots of video on how to do that but uh, specifically it's about one room of uh, try hack me is from the junior pen tester but uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it with the metasploit and I will show you the easiest way not the regular way or the way other do it I'm not gonna do it on that way I felt like uh, that one makes a little bit difficult to do it but I'm gonna show you the easiest way and easiest method with the metasploit so I'm gonna do that so this is the room and uh, it's uh, it's based on the kernel exploits so they are giving us an username and password for an ssh so we can connect to ssh with this username and password and we will uh, start with the user level and we, we we have to get the root access so the question here is about the find and use the appropriate kernel exploit to gain root privilege on the target system and the second question is what is the content of the flag so the first thing uh, so they already gave us the username and password of a user so we will uh, log into the system and our mission is to gain the root access so that would be the privilege question and we will use the kernel exploits to do that so first we got a start machine so we got the ip address and we will uh, copy the ip address and we'll go our kali machine and we'll do it so the way they are telling to do it is like we have to find the uh, kernel version then we have to search the exploit related to the car that kernel version then we have to download that one and we have to upload the uh, that exploit to the targeted machine with simple http server and download with the wget but we're not gonna do all these stuff so i'm gonna show you how to do that all the thing very easily with metasploit so let's start and we're not gonna follow the hints and notes of the uh, of this module and we're not gonna follow the regular path actually so i will show you how to do it do all these things how to get the uh, uh root root uh, root shell directly from the metasploit so we will exploit that with metasploit and we will get the root access directly and we will get the content from the flag one okay so let's go to the go to our kali machine here is our kali machine so first we have to open our uh, vpn so I'm, I'm just connecting my vpn and i'll go to a new tab i'll make it i'll make uh, i'll do some zooming for your better view okay so i guess you can see it so first we will get the uh, root permission in our machine okay so we already copied the IP address of that machine and we we saw like the username and password so username is current and password is password so I will show you like first I will log in I will log in without metasploit I will log in to that uh, SSH and I will show you how how that uh, how that uh, system look like and that we are not root so I will show that you show show it to you first so let's uh, do it SSH current we know how to log in log into remote ssh right so this is the new ip address and we will hit enter we're gonna put the password so they already give the username so you we use the username here current and we will use the password here the password was password one so here here we are in the uh, SSH server and if we click who am I we'll see we we are current and can we uh, be root let's see so they are asking for the password I will use the password huh so they says current is not a sudo file the incident will be reported this means current has no permission to become root so current is just a user and with the with the current account we have to gain the uh, root permission and we have to uh, that would be our uh, target so first uh, if we see like host name if we use this command we can see the host name is wait this one 7363 and if we say uname dash a 
so we can see this is the kernel version of this machine so the kernel version is right there this is the kernel version and if we copy this one and if we go to the our web browser okay so if we search this one and you see the first thing comes here like exploit database this means we have a exploit re uh, related to that version so if we go to the exploit database we're not gonna download it and we're not gonna upload to the system because I'm not uh, I'm not going to follow that uh, path actually so what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to show you look at the CV number CV number is 2015 uh, 1328 so uh, for the for this kernel version for this kernel version the CV number is 13 1328 uh, and is released on 2015 so we're gonna use Metasploit and search for this one and we will follow in follow everything uh, what what in the uh, everything in the uh, metasploit options we will follow all the options in the metasploit so let's go back to the root uh, to the our terminal so from here i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna download the cbe and download uh, and upload it to the system so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just exit it here because we already saw like we cannot be uh, we cannot be root here so i'm just gonna exit this one and make it clear so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna start our me uh, metasploit so here I'm, I'm starting my metasploit framework it's loading it will be started soon okay so metasploit is started so first we're gonna clear and if, if, if we search that CBE remember the cbe number cbe 2015 so let's search that up cbe uh, cbe uh, 2015 1328 okay so see metasploit already have uh, ha, metasploit already has this exploit and its rank is good so we can use this one already from metasploit to gain the root access so if we say let's say you uh, okay so now you know how to use the metasploit so we're gonna use this exploit here use okay so we are on this module already this exploit module and we if we see like options if we click uh, let's put show options okay so we have to do what we have to uh, tell the L host and we have to set up the target because this is not our target our target is 2015 13 20 so first we're gonna set the target uh, first we're gonna uh, we're gonna do short targets here you can see the both two targets zero and one so th this is our target actually number zero not this one so we have to set our target to this one 13 28 so let's set set target zero so we are setting the target this one okay so now we will set our l host so l host is our this this uh, uh, the ip of the this kali machine so we, we're gonna do that so uh, the easy way to do it is like set l host then i'm gonna use our uh, my interface name so this is my interface name tune zero in your case it could be anything else like the eta zero or anything else so i'm gonna set that one so i have set the l host at the target so if i now click for the show options okay so we all set i guess but one thing we need we need a session so this session is basically saying we need to set the session so first we need to create a session so that will be like this session would be like logging to the ssh and that session has to be here so first we need to create a session to use this exploit so we just gonna back up and i'm gonna search for ssh login so we're gonna use a auxiliary module to log into the ssh because we already have the credential of the ssh login so if i search ssh login so we, we have to now create a session with that ssh login then we are and we, we already set up this we already set it up for the exploit uh, the uh, the this one then we can just uh, run the exploit and we can get the uh, root access so 
let's search for the SSH login here so the first one is like this one uh, so we're gonna use this one to log in with our key so just I will copy and use it or you can just do use zero it will, it will work so let's see yeah so now if we if I click show options okay so it says uh, what we gonna we, what we have to set here we have to set up we, we will set the password here we will set the username here our username yeah and we will set the password and we will set what else we uh, what else do you need to set uh, 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 I don't uh, and we have to set the our host yeah there's three things we need to set for here then we can log into our SSH so uh, let's first set the password set password so we already know the password because password was uh, password one and it is given in the uh, try hack piece room here you can see this is the password and the username so we are just using this one so yeah so password was password one password one then we're gonna set our our hosts right so our host is the target machine so set our host I'm gonna copy the IP address again so IP address is uh, where here so this one let's go so I'm gonna put the IP address here set our hosts and we're gonna set our username then we are good to go yeah, username is Karino. We already know. Okay, so we're gonna now run it and let's see what happens. So it's starting the brute force and uh, okay, so we already logged in, right? And you see, scanned one of uh, SSH session one open. So if we now cl uh, be, uh, click on sessions so we have one session you see and our session name is id1 and this is a uh, this is to which uh, this is an like ssh so we, we connected through ssh and we got the session one so if we now back it up so we have already created the session and we will go back to our this exploit so if we just copy it and here if we just use it oh shit so i'm gonna search the cve number again search cve 2015 and it was 1328 right okay this one right so i'm gonna use zero and now i will click like show options Okay, so we already set up the target 1328 before and L host we have already set up and we already set up everything. Uh, we, we just need to set the session and we, we know our SSH session is number one here. Active sessions and the ID number one. This is uh, this is our SSH session and we logged in as a uh, as Karen and if we go there now. Okay, so we already uh, I already show you at the beginning. So Karen is like just a user. He is not uh, the root. He has no permission to root. So now, if we set the session, set session, set session one. Okay. So for this exploit, we are targeting session one, and we are our L host is this one, and L port is this one. And uh, if I click show options for the last time, and for make sure that we put everything correct, show options. So uh, here you can see now this session is one. And the L host we already declared. L port is triple uh, quadric four is no problem, and this is our target. So we we just do we're gonna do run. Okay, so session may not be compatible with this module in compatible session architecture, but still they are started the uh, reverse TCP handler on our machine, and we are waiting for it. Let's see. Metasploit is such a powerful, such a powerful uh, tool actually, powerful framework for the exploitation and other stuff. And you can see we are not following all the 
hints and the notes given in the trihecmes module because I felt like this kind of complicated to download the exploit then uh, upload it to the uh, this system again so you have to download it to your machine then you have to open a uh, simple HTTP server then you have to do all the stuff so you have to download this here with the wget method but whatever okay so you can see we already got the shell here and if we click who am I look we're root so we, we directly got the shell so we are root and if we see like uh, you name a you can still check you name a so this is the this is the kernel uh, version and with this kernel version this kernel version has the export so uh, we did that and if we say host name you can see th th there was the host name so but this time we we are uh, we are root so we have the root access here and if we click ls we get all these things all the file names and everything so if we do pwd okay so we see this is our root directory and if we go to the home directory cd slash home and if we click ls we can see there is a user called matt and if we go to the matt cd matt and if we click ls you can see we have a flag one dot txt and if we do cat flag one dot txt so we got the content of the flag so this is i think very easy way to deal with metasploit so it is always good option whenever you you, you are searching any exploit related to the uh, exp, uh if you see any version or if you see any you you have available exploits uh, related to the version or the kernel kernel version or the uh, service version or whatever always make sure to check the metasploitable first because metasploit might have that exploit already in the in their database and that would be more easier to do it okay so and it's, it's very easy so you just need to click on show options use the show options command and see which options do you need to set up and then you, you can do it so yeah i have seen lots of video regarding uh, this module but no one showed with the metasploitable uh, with metasploit so everyone did uh, the way try hack me told them to do but I, f I found this one much easier this this method so that's why i thought okay let's make a video on this topic and show it to everyone how to do it do this uh, task pipe like the privilege escalation and kernel exploits with metasploit so yeah this is for you guys thank you so much for watching my video thank you